Good morning. My name is Kyle Schaefer with H2 Advisors. I am a CPA, a CFE, but most importantly, I like to think of myself as a storyteller. Because you see small businesses, small business owners, they're all, I'm gonna stay here because if I don't, I'll just move around talking my hands. Small business owners, they're all telling a story every day. They just don't realize it. Uh, you know, they're focused on the day-to-day -day operations of their business, but what they're doing is writing down what's happening every day. And it's not until the month ends or the quarter ends or the year ends that they go back and reflect on their financial statements and say, okay, how did we perform as a company? How did I do as a business owner over the last month, over the last year? So that's where we like to come in and help tell that story. Because you can look at a profit and loss statement, you can look at a balance sheet and you can say, yeah, my gross margin was 30% this month or my net income was at 27% last month compared to this month. I don't know what that means. I can read numbers, but I don't know what that means. So we come in and try to help you understand that. And we do that in a lot of different ways. Uh, so some of the services we offer, we have your traditional bookkeeping, accounting, and tax services, so your monthly financial statement preparation, things of that nature. Uh, that's not so much my area. I focus on the, the niche areas of accounting, uh, fraud and forensic accounting, and business valuation. So to talk a little bit briefly about the fraud and forensic, like I said, I am a CFE, that's Certified Fraud Examiner. So my goal is to help businesses prevent, detect, and correct any instances of fraud. So you might be asking yourself, does fraud really happen in small businesses? The answer is a resounding yes, unfortunately. And we could have a whole one hour seminar, or one hour luncheon on why fraud happens, how it happens, but I don't wanna bore you too much and I only have six minutes. So uh, in short, fraud happens because a business owner trusts somebody and gives that one person too much power. And for one reason or another, whether that person falls on hard times or that person is simply a legitimate criminal that you never knew about, they misuse uh, that trust for their own gain. And like I said, our job is to make sure that doesn't happen help you identify where those areas are. Do you have controls in place uh, where you, know, you wanna make sure that isn't going to happen? But if it has happened, what do I do now? I have this employee who's been taking money from me and I've never known it, what do I do? And so we can help you along through that entire process. Uh, going into the, the business valuation area, uh, business valuation is a very broad term. I don't know if anyone here has heard of it before, uh, but essentially, the clues in the name, accountants were not very clever with our vocabulary. Uh, we are trying to assign a monetary value to a business. And this can be done for many reasons. The primary that you probably think of is buying or selling, which is true. You wanna know if you're buying a new business or selling your existing business that you're getting the right price or you're uh, paying the right price for that. Uh, so there are different techniques that we can use, different methods. Again, we could have a whole hour long seminar on that, only have six minutes. Um, but in short, um, we look at historical uh, numbers, historical performance of the business, depending on where you're at and how you're planning to grow. If you can grow, maybe you're at capacity. We can project how we think you'll do in the future and we can, using some nice fancy math, uh, come down to one round number. Um, along with buying and selling, we also help uh, companies in uh, divorce cases. So if unfortunately there's a divorce happening and the business is a marital asset, you have to put a value on that to uh, decide how that's gonna get split up. And those get kind of nasty, but I mean, divorces are always nasty, unfortunately. Um, finally, uh, in the business valuation realm, um, we also deal with eminent domain cases. Uh, so that's where uh, the city, the county, the state is gonna come in, widen the road. You can think of the project on 36th Avenue to build the bridge over the railroad tracks. Think of all those businesses that were there and how much space they lost. And we actually helped a couple of those uh, businesses out because they, they couldn't operate anymore. So some of those businesses, they required the use of those large 52 foot uh, semi trucks. And by taking out 
part of the road, part of their land to expand the road, the trucks couldn't get in. And if the trucks can't get in, they, they can't get their supplies, they can't operate. So we helped, uh, you know, with obviously through the help of an attorney, uh, get them proper compensation. In the state of Florida, you're entitled to the compensation uh, for any eminent domain case. So we, we work uh, on eminent domain primarily um, down south. We, we have a lot of connections down south, but also here, it's just there's not too many road projects happening here. And the, the biggest thing is with all of these areas, I mean, everyone knows what an accountant does day to day, your tax accountant or your bookkeeper. You know what they do day to day. So my focus here is on those niche areas, the, the valuation, the fraud, and the forensic and those types of services that we offer. And that is it. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to take them.